welcome to my channel here I've kind of always been transparent and open about my personal struggles with mental health stuff I've posted about my journey being on you know antidepressants and getting severely depressed but in today's video I want to bring you guys actual tips on how I help myself stay grounded and stay stable maybe you guys can implement this you know in this new year I'm actually collaborating with my good friend Ashley she's here on YouTube hey guys my name is Ashley I'm a 27 year old girl from Canberra Australia I'm a first time mom to my little girl Sophie and I'm also expecting baby number two on the way I'm so excited to be doing this collaboration with Alexandra today and I feel so appreciative that I can because we do have very different content on our channels over on my channel you'll find a lot of homemaking so a lot of cooking a lot of cleaning decorating day in the life and routine videos and you're about to see a whole lot of pregnancy content if that is the kind of content you enjoy after alexandra's video i'd love it if you came over to my channel and had a look around join a little community if you enjoy it in my video today we're going to be going over my little tips tricks and daily routines that i have to keep my mental health and mental illness in check under control and inactive but like I said, we just hope you enjoyed the videos today and give them a thumbs up if you do. Bye. I'm going to be linking that in my description. Check that out. Her videos are always so great. I'm really targeting the basics and how you can actually get yourself out of a runt if you're just feeling so crappy in your body. This isn't crazy stuff. I'm not going to tell you to go to the gym and get your serotonin. You know what I mean? Because you've heard that before. I'm sure your parents have told you that. My parents sure have when I'm feeling depressed. Go for a run, go go to the gym. So I'm really just trying to give you guys the tips that really benefited me. I'm starting off kind of really thinking about our bodies and what we actually need. It's very important that you nourish your body and eat. I've had personal struggles with, you know, not being able to eat. And as a result, you just feel horrible. Your body feels horrible because it's not nourished. It doesn't have the proper nutrients it needs. That's super important for your overall well-being, of course, as well as focusing on perfecting your sleep schedule. Get your sleep under control. It really helps me feel much better if I'm staying up late and having insomnia or it is such a struggle. If you're having serious problems falling asleep, go see your doctor, contact your doctor, and they can prescribe you something if that's the route you want to take. It is very important that you utilize healthy coping mechanisms. Obviously, we're all struggling with different things. I don't know your personal problems, but for me, it was very easy to turn to alcohol and drugs. I'll just say it. Like, I would abuse those types of things. If you're going through anything like that, I highly recommend talking to somebody, a family member, or a medical professional and tell them what you're going through. But finding healthy coping mechanisms that actually help you will really, really benefit you. And it's much harder than, than me just saying it. And you're like, okay, I'll do it. You know, you might enjoy journaling, or if you have a craft or a hobby you really like, or if you do like going to the gym, you know, go and do that, or just go for a walk. Find something that you can put your energy into. Something that's made me feel much better and less overwhelmed is to have a clean space. I'd highly recommend if you find yourself, you know, not putting stuff away all the time, do many smaller cleans. Like every night before you go to bed, clean up your workspace, put your makeup away, put your products away so that in the morning you don't wake up and it's a mess. You wake up and you're like, it's one less stress that's not there. And it's just like a nice clean space rather than going crazy and doing it once a week and then letting everything pile up again. Maybe go through your stuff when you're organizing and see is it actually essential. I know that's like a bigger task to do, so I just say do a bunch of little cleanups if you can. For me, it would always be the dishes in my room, literally dishes everywhere, and that stuff would pile up. So if you can just try to put those things away, slowly doing small things, it'll create much less clutter and less of a mess to clean up later. If you're busy at work, busy doing schoolwork, for me I get super, super in the zone. Not with homework, but when I'm editing my YouTube videos. I like won't eat. I'm like, I'm editing. I just get so like hyper focused on that and I can't do anything else. But I think it's very important that if you're focusing on reading and doing your homework and all that stuff, you take breaks, take work breaks, stand up, stretch your body, just like move a little bit. You get super sore from like sitting in a chair. Mine is hard and my back starts to hurt after a while of me hunched over and like doing stuff. Just stand up, walk around your house. When you're hyper focused on doing work and homework and stuff like that, and you're just focused on that, and then maybe when you do take a break, you're going on your phone and you're going on TikTok and scrolling and scrolling. It really isn't giving your mind a break. It's still overstimulating and you're still focused on so many things, so much information coming in. So I highly recommend when you take your breaks, don't even go on your phone. Like, 
be by yourself, be with your thoughts, stretch, you know, move your body, at least it'll get you moving a little bit, and then you can go back to doing all the stuff you're doing. If you can, go outside and just like have a breath of fresh air, going out in nature is very beneficial, for me at least. If you can get yourself to go for a walk every day to get fresh air and to get vitamin D, I honestly think it would really benefit you. I haven't gotten to the point where I go for walks every day. My grandma goes on like an hour long walk a day and I'm like, how do you do that? Oh my goodness. You know, a lot of the times I don't leave the house and I don't step foot outside. So if you can at least try, then maybe you will some days and that'll be better than not trying at all and never leaving the house. As someone who's not currently in therapy, I've mentioned that in previous videos, I've had to find other ways to kind of let out what my mind is thinking or else if it's all stuck in there, I'll kind of blow up and go a little crazy. So journaling has been one way, like I said, but another way I find super beneficial is to just like phone a friend and talk, talk about your feelings. I feel like that sounds so like simple and something everybody does, but I didn't do that. Like when I was isolated alone at university, I never phoned up a friend and talked. I didn't call my parents and tell them what I was going through. It might seem like people don't care or whatever, but people do care, you know, if you're going through stuff. So talk to them. Just tell them about like your everyday stuff, like what's going on with you. That'll get you talking and that'll get your mind off of whatever's stressing you out. Adding to that, I also think it's really important to speak freely and honestly. If you have someone who you're comfortable enough doing that with, I don't think it's healthy to, you know, phone a friend because you think that's like, because I recommended it to you, but then you're there faking it and they're like how are you and you're like good like how are you when you're actually not doing good and you've been in a depression or something like that be honest with how you're feeling because i feel like that's the only way that you're going to be able to actually get something out of talking if you have a face on the whole time and you're not telling the truth then it obviously won't be as beneficial i think it's really important that you don't suppress how you're feeling or why you're anxious and just distract yourself by playing games or watching movies or something Figure out like what's actually at the root of the issue and what's making you anxious instead of laying on top drugs and distractions. Write down like what things trigger you and what actually helps. Is that a walk in nature? Is it just like a day to yourself with no technology? A warm bath? And write that stuff out so that when you are struggling, you can remember like, oh, like what are those things that I realize do actually help me? I also think it's really important that you listen to your body and what your body needs. When you're going through stuff, it's okay to be selfish and figure out what you need and focus on yourself. Don't worry about other people and your family's needs. Worry about what your body actually needs. Nobody else is going to be able to tell you what's good for you and what you actually need. So you have to self-reflect and figure that out yourself. If you feel unstable and like you're really not doing well, ask a friend for support. That's my final tip. Ask for help when you need it. You truly sometimes can't do everything by yourself and don't feel like you have to fight every battle by yourself people around you care about you and want to help so reach out to them and like i said be honest and transparent about how you've been feeling maybe think about ways that their support can be beneficial what can they do for you is it you know more often check-ins to see you know how are you doing alex have you eaten today have you gone outside today a lot of the time people around you they're focused on their own stuff, you know what I mean? They have stuff going on in their life too. So they might not be checking in on you as much as you need and they might not actually know how severe of things you're going through or how crappy you're feeling. So you have to express that to them and tell them then they can, you know, be there for you and show up for you. Thank you for watching today's video. Let me know if you like these kind of mental health centered videos or if this isn't something you're interested in let me know down below what type of content you do want to see from me in this new year i want to produce content that is actually enjoyable for you guys to watch 